Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today I will show you guys 10 must have iOS 14 home screen widgets. Now iOS 14 is here bringing a ton of new features alongside with the new widgets. And fortunately the devs have moved really fast and have updated their apps with amazing widgets for the home screen of iOS 14. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of those which you must have on your iOS 14 device. Starting things off with color widgets. Now this is an app that is dedicated to widgets. You can customize these the way you like. So the widgets are really great. You will have here the current date and of course the time there and you will also have the battery percentage right there on that little battery indicator. So you go ahead and open the app and from here you will see like different styles of this widget. You can go ahead and customize these the way you like. You tap on one of them tap on edit widget and right here we'll have the chance to basically customize this any way you want. Once you have done that, just tap on set widget and then you will have this set as a widget on the home screen. So you don't need to edit it from here, go on the app and you're good to go. Of course, you will have two different sizes. You will have the two by four and the two by two layout. Next is Google. Yes, Google has released widgets for the home screen of iOS 14 and they look better than on Android. I just have to say that they're really great. So you will have two different widgets. You have the two by four, which has the search bar at the top, has the lens here, has the voice search and also the ignition. Now, when you tap based on where you tap, it will load that feature. So if I want to do a voice search, right there, you can see it will go straight to the voice search. You can tap the lens, just like that. So you will have like different fields here to tap and do like different actions. And you will have the smaller one, the two by two, which lets you quickly search on Google. Next is forecast bar. Now forecast bar is a weather app, which basically has a ton of widgets to add to the home screen of your iOS 14 device. You can see here a few that I have added. So here at the top, I have one with the humidity, the wind speed, the UV index and all that. Then right here, I have weather for four different cities. And right here, I have the hourly forecast for my current location. So that's really, really great. Let's go ahead and jump to the widgets panel. You can see right here on the widgets panel of forecast bar, we have a ton of different widgets. So here we have a, like smart weather. We have here another one for multi cities. You have another one here for multi cities. You have here data points. So you have like different styles and of course different functions that they do. You can see this one for the current weather, this bigger one for the current weather, and you have the hourly and the daily forecast right here. So amazing app with a ton of widgets for iOS 14. Next up, we have usage. Now usage is an app that will monitor your device, like the RAM memory, the storage, the data and all that stuff. And it has a bunch of new widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So you can see a few that I have here at the top right there. That's the RAM memory. So basically it shows you the active RAM memory, the inactive, the weird and also the free RAM memory. Here we have two smaller ones, the two by two. So here we have the storage, the free and the use storage. And then we have another one here for the RAM memory. Let's jump also here to the widgets panel. So on the widgets panel of usage, you can see here we have a ton of different widgets. So you will have the data widgets that you can add. Then you have the other ones for the storage and the RAM memory. Here we have the RAM memory. You have different layouts for different functions, of course. So we have the bigger one for storage, the smaller one for storage. The same goes for the RAM memory as well. Next up, we have Cheat Sheet. Now, Cheat Sheet is a pretty popular app that basically allows you to quickly copy anything that you need. So you add like different phrases, different stuff that you have to do or you need to remember quickly or have quick access to. You can do that with Cheat Sheet. So here we have like different layouts of widgets from this app. So right there at the top, we have some stuff that I have added. I want to copy one of these, just tap right there and I will be able to copy it as quick as that. Right here, I have all the stuff that I have added on Cheat Sheet. And if I tap the plus button, I can go ahead and quickly enter a new one. And we have a smaller widget right here, which basically displays the same ones. Now you can add up to three items for free and then the other ones have to be paid on a pro version. The next app for this video is called photo widget. 
Now this offers widgets which allow you to basically show photos on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Now you can do that with the stock photos app of iOS, but that's really, really funny. Like I've seen on Twitter posts from different people showing like different weird pictures popping up on the screen and all that stuff. So that's really hilarious. But with this app, you can choose your own pictures, whichever pictures you want to display on the home screen. So you can see here we have three different layouts. We have the smaller one, we have the four by four, and we have a two by four as well. So you go ahead and open the app and you can add up to 30 pictures from the camera roll right here. And then they will basically appear on the home screen via the widget. Of course, you can go ahead and go to settings and ch change here the photo refresh interval. So basically choose how fast you want those photos to switch from one to another, of course, based on how many pictures you have selected from the camera roll. Next up is Countdown. Now, Countdown allows you to add different countdowns to the home screen of your device using the home screen widgets of iOS 14. So you have two different widgets that you can add. The first one right here is one that you choose. You go ahead, add it, go ahead, tap on edit widget and choose whichever countdown that you have on the app you want to show here. This one right here will show you the upcoming event. So on the countdown, you have different events. The first one that is coming will be shown on this other one right here. Next up is Music Harbor. Now, Music Harbor is an app that allows you to follow your favorite artists and will basically give you information about the next releases from those artists. And of course, it has some really amazing widgets for the home screen of your iOS 14 device. So right here, it shows me the next release. This one is Kobe from Dame Dollar. That's really cool. So it shows it right here, September 11th. And then it will show you right here another one with the upcoming events and the releases, the albums from the artists that you follow. So let's go ahead and quickly jump to the widgets panel of Music Harbor. Jumping to the widgets panel of Music Harbor, you can notice here we have different kinds of widgets for different purposes. So we have the first ones right here for the upcoming releases. So you will have the two different sizes right there. We have the latest releases. We have also two or three different sizes right here. We have the four by four as well. And then we have the stats. Of course, these are all based on the artists that you follow through the app. So we have the smaller one here. We have the two by two and the four by four. Next up, we have Pocket List. Now, Pocket List allows you to remember things quickly. Anything that you need to remember, like a task that you have to do, can be added to the app and then, of course, to the home screen through the widget. So you can see right here we have the 2x2, the 4x4. We have here the events, the meetings, all that stuff that you have to do can be added to this app. And then, of course, you can display them right here on the home screen through the widget. Now, tapping on the edit button, you can choose the list of reminders, list of series suggestions, list of calendar events that you want to display right here on the widget. So basically just tap to edit and choose whatever you need to be displayed on the home screen from this app. And last but not least, we have Time Deck. Now Time Deck will show you the weather as well as the clock for your location and other locations as well. So you can see right here at the top, I have my location and I have three other cities right here. So it shows the clock right there, the name of the city and the weather conditions, which is really, really cool. Now you can go ahead, tap right here, tap on edit widget, and you can basically choose whichever one is your current location. You put it at the top right here as the first one by simply rearranging it like this. And then of course you will be able to rearrange also the other cities that you see right there and you're good to go. You can see right then they have been rearranged as easy as that. So basically a very nice display. You know, you have this with iOS, you have the world clock and all that, but with this one, you can customize it very, very easily and it looks much, much better. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 iOS 14 home screen widgets that you must have on your iOS 14 device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're enjoying all the iOS 14 videos that I'm releasing these days. Make sure you go ahead, leave a like in this one if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more iOS 14 videos coming really, really soon. So that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys on the next one.